I never quite understood why build a website that looks great on your computer, but completely on everyone else's. It's like dreaming of driving a Lamborghini bought online for $100 and being disappointed once you find out it's a toy car. Yeah. I'm Kay from the Asset Team and in this video I'm gonna share with you three free ways of testing your website to be sure it looks good no matter the device. First, cross-browser testing. You might be surprised how your website looks on different browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Safari and so on. So the best thing you can do is try it for yourself, try it in private or incognito mode and possibly try it on some other device. It's not the device you are developing the website on. Now, if instead you prefer using a tool, hop on Google and just type cross-browser website testing and you will see a ton of options. And at this stage, if you find any errors from one browser to the other, it's time to debug. Now, the good news is that Internet Explorer is a thing of the past, so you're lucky you won't have to deal with that. Next, cross devices testing. So just like the testing for the browsers, you also want to test for various devices. You want to test for a desktop, but desktop is very wide. You want to test on a big screen, on a smaller screen, like a tiny laptop, for example. You want to try on a tablet, you want to test on a smartphone, you name it. Now, of course, unless you have all these devices, it might be a bit difficult. So the first thing you can do is just test it in your browser. And if you have an external screen, just see how it looks if you have a bigger screen. But then what you can do also is go on a page here, for example, in Google Chrome, right click, then click on inspect and make sure you have this icon selected. So by default, this is what you will see and click on that icon, which is a responsive icon. Next, here in the drop-down, you can change the device. So let's say I want to try iPhone 12 Pro. Well, this is how it looks like. So as you can see, I have many different devices and brands, and I can even click edit and add new ones. Now, this is not perfect. The best thing to do is to try on a real device, but if you can't, at least you can try this solution. And as usual, if you prefer using a dedicated tool, just go to Google and type cross devices website testing. Next, Cross OS testing. So you thought we were done with testing, but nope, because ideally you would test your website on the Mac OS operating system and on the Windows operating system. And if you're really hardcore, you can test your website on Linux. I'm just kidding. But the rule of thumb is, and that's valid for all tests, whether it's the browser, the type of devices or the operating system, you want to optimize for where your audience is going to be. So if most of your audience will be on a Mac, it makes sense to optimize first for the Mac OS operating system and vice versa. If they're on Windows, optimize for Windows. Same thing for the browsers and same thing for devices. If you know that 90% of the people are going to view your website on a smartphone, then you should spend more time optimizing on the smartphone. Now, if you don't have both a Mac and a Windows machine, there are free solutions and I'm going to talk about it in a moment. And that moment is right now because next you're going to ask friends and colleagues to scan your website. Not only is it free, unless of course your friends ask you for money, but then are they really friends? And next, chances are some will be on Windows, some will be on the Mac, and then when it comes to the smartphone, some will be on iOS and some will be on Android. So you get a testing cross devices, cross browser for free. But that means you need to have friends, of course. But if you don't, just ask your colleagues. Yeah. 